Welcome back to our channel everyone! In this video, we will discuss some projects made on custom PCBs. So, without further ado, let's start with number 13. Indoor Geek created an internet radio shaped like a cassette to give the project a retro look. He kept a simple design for the project, featuring a 3D printed frame that secures the PCB with four corner screws. The back PCB houses all the electronics, while the front PCB showcases artwork for aesthetic appeal. He repurposed a speaker from an old mobile phone, which made the project more compact and sustainable. At the center, he added a transparent display that shows the currently playing song and custom animations. Overall, the project is impressive, from the initial concept to the fully realized retro radio. Number 12. NerdCave designed a simple controller PCB to manage six different WS2812B LED strips using a Raspberry Pi Pico. An alternative control option with a Wemos D1 Mini or Pi Pico W is also available. The board includes two push buttons for adjusting LED colors, and if a Pico W or D1 Mini is used, the LEDs can be controlled via a web server. Additionally, a Bluetooth module can be added for more control options. Both the Pico and the LEDs can be powered with a 5V input. Number 11. Next, we have a Line Follower, a sleek and robust robot made by Edison Science Corner. To maintain a simple and efficient design, he used a custom PCB as the chassis of the project. The custom PCB accommodates an array of five IR sensors at the front. The Arduino Nano serves as the brain, and an L293D motor driver module controls two N20DC motors positioned at the rear. Additionally, a 128 by 32 OLED display is integrated for troubleshooting, along with three buttons for adjusting values. Number 10. A surveillance robot is most effective when it is tiny, has minimal components, and is fast. The Circuit Digest team considered all these factors in creating this spy car. To make it compact, they assembled the car on a single PCB, integrating the motor driver and battery charging circuit. Four N20DC motors provide smooth movement, while an ESP32 cam at the front records everything and sends the video stream to a web server, from which the bot's movements can be controlled. Number 9. Sebastian created a pet-feeding piano that dispenses food when a piano key is pressed. This unique device not only provides food, but also teaches pets to play simple tunes over time. The outer frame of this piano is made from MDF board, while all the internal parts are 3D printed. For the electronics, he designed a compact PCB containing an ESP32 chip, a motor driver, an audio amplifier, and 18 switches for detecting each piano stroke. This PCB is sandwiched between the piano keys and the frame. Number 8. Next, we have a drone racing gate created by Professor Boots. As a drone passes through, the LED color changes and the lap time is recorded. These details are displayed on a tiny TFT screen, which is installed at a 45 degree angle for easy viewing from almost any angle. Inside the neat 3D printed enclosure, the electronics are assembled on a PCB. The PCB includes an ESP32 board, a buck converter, and two ultrasonic sensors on the flip side, ensuring the project's compactness. Number 7. Jeremy found a creative way to repurpose PCBs from his old project by creating a guitar strap light that makes him look like a rock star. The PCBs already had NeoPixel LEDs, so he simply connected them using jumper cables to form a chain and controlled them using Adafruit's Circuit Playground Express. After soldering the connections, he glued the PCBs onto a strap to ensure they wouldn't fall off while playing the guitar. Number 6. Our next project is a computer designed by Peter. He calls it Mechsenger. It contains all the essentials, like a microcontroller, a battery charging circuit, an SD card, etc. But the best part is the backlit keyboard and tiny screen above it. To place the screen, he made a cutout in the PCB and protected it with a cover board. This solved two things for him. First, it kept the display firmly in its position, and second, it reduced the overall thickness of the project. Number 5. 
Next, we have an impressive LED cube made by Edison Science Corner. Instead of soldering LEDs directly to each other, he designed a single-layer PCB for each row, each containing 16 LEDs. This approach allowed him to easily solder 64 LEDs across four rows, simplifying the connection process. To fabricate the PCBs, he relied on JLC PCB, known for offering high-quality PCBs at a low cost with fast delivery. Their simple ordering process and extensive customization options provide better control over design specifications and ensure optimal production standards. They offer five PCBs of up to four layers for just $2 with a build time of 24 hours. You can find more details in the description. Once the LED array was complete, he connected the cube to an Arduino Nano, which he placed at the bottom inside a 3D printed enclosure, giving the project a great look. Number 4. Chris created a 32 by 8 LED display using four small LED matrices. Each unit features an LED driver circuit that powers 64 LEDs arranged in an 8 by 8 format. The use of SMD components in each unit makes it compact. These units are linked to the host board using mezzanine connectors, simplifying the connection process. The host board includes an Arduino Nano, a power jack connector, and an on-off switch. Once the code is uploaded, the LEDs light up and the matrix starts scrolling the message. Number 3. Volos created a miniature messaging device that sends short messages using two-way ESP Now communication. Despite its simple appearance, which consists of a custom PCB, some tactile switches, and an M5 stack Atom S3 development board, it works effectively. It's important to note that the device is only suitable for short-range communication, and each message can be up to 20 characters long. However, it's a great way to communicate with your friends. Number 2. To simplify home automation, the Coders Cafe team has come up with these unique, easy-to-place devices that can turn a regular home smart without touching the existing house wiring. All these modules consist of a microcontroller and some sensors, performing a specific task. For instance, this node consists of a motion sensor that only wakes the ESP32 from deep sleep when a motion is detected. Likewise, the door sensor node incorporates a magnetic reed switch, and the weather node features a BME680 sensor. The collected data from these nodes is transmitted to the gateway and can be conveniently viewed on a dashboard. Number 1. Next, we have a ChatGPT-based voice assistant system. Built on a custom PCB, the project requires two ESP32 modules. A proximity sensor serves as a switch and allows you to give commands upon accepting a gesture input. The voice commands are transmitted to Google Cloud, which converts them to text and then sends them to an open AI server. ChatGPT processes the query and generates a response. This text response is subsequently converted back into voice, audible through a speaker. I'm an AI digital assistant and do not have a name. So, these were some great projects made on custom PCBs. If you are also looking for a reliable PCB manufacturer to prototype PCBs for your next project, visit JLC PCB. Comment below the design that you loved the most. We will be back with some great ideas soon. Till then, goodbye.